Hey guys, it's Splinterverse. We're playing Hex Shards of Fate. The format is Mary Mealy Corinth. The game is free to play on PC and PS4. You can visit the link in the description to download it. I definitely recommend doing it because formats like this are zero cost to play and you don't need any cards. So there's a low uh, barrier for entry pick this one. The other two were okay, but I like the curios that this creates if it comes out. good. Um, I like this one as well, but I like the life drain and the the difficulty being blocked on this one, so we're going to go with that. So our goal, when you see Chaos Key, your goal is to put something out that tempts him to use it. He can't use it till turn 5, so... But if we can get some little nasty out that he is willing to use it on so that later when we put out a bigger guy like this, he doesn't have it anymore because this is a one-time use card, unlike most things in this format. Mmm, not so great. Eh, this is really the best and this might tempt him to use it. Lethal and Feral are difficult to deal with. Especially Feral because you have to have two... two troops to block it. So this will probably tempt him to kill it, which is fine. Hmm. I don't like playing that because it's just a cheesy one. So I'm going to take this. Does he have speed? No. Okay, sometimes he has speed based on his socket. He has get flight instead, which is another reason I wanted to pick him. So now he has two targets in two more turns to choose what to, what to get rid of. He'll probably go for this, although this is pretty bad too to deal with. And it does have a damage, you know, when it dies, I, I do take two damage. Mm, I really like this. We got a 5 4 flyer, and he can't block either one because this is flying and this is feral. So now he will have the ability to get rid of one of them. Like I said, he should go for this one unless he's got a ground troop he can put out, and then in which case he should go for this one. Such cool art on him. Very good card. I like that card. So now he'll have blockers for this guy. And this one has flight as well, so really he can block either one. Okay, we got four spiders in our deck from that. Or no, no, we, we didn't because he didn't have a venom allegiance. 
So what's he going to void next turn? This is good because of its deploy, otherwise I would have probably picked that. And since the troop that it creates could have speed, I'm going to do it now. Okay. Well, I didn't want to block with this flyer, that's surprising. Maybe he's going to void it. I don't know. That's a good card. He's really hanging on to this Chaos King for something nastier, I guess. He knows this can kill my guy. kill this guy because it's got flight. We're going to attack with all so that they get the gladiator and then he can choose whoever to block. So I'm going to take two from this. Good move there. He's got an invincible card. Now. He can void this on his turn. I picked the little artifact guy because he can create troops when he comes out, so we'll see if we draw him again. Yep. We haven't seen our Curio Maker or this guy all game, so we're going to finally see them. Let's see here. useless. This is very good. Um, Alright, so we're going to attack. He's dead next turn if he doesn't get a wipe or three three blockers. life here that's great nice he's gonna avoid my my um, life train so I can't get any, any gain any and he can prevent some damage here I should have gone red to activate this but that's fine whatever good news for him is this doesn't actual do actual damage to him it does it puts spiders instead into his deck spiderling eggs so he just needs two blockers or to be able to play that card again and gain the life off of it he's hoping to get that off of this I think no. it's got one invincible card what else has he got he needs at least one more All right, the life train. That's that's all he needs. And he voided my my little stealer. That's such a good card. I love this card, Blaze of Glory. 
Alright. It, like, does everything. <laughs> Alright, so if he blocks this, it won't put any spiders in his deck because, um, it's invincible, so it doesn't actually take any damage, but, hmm... with that. We don't normally play that card, but here we are. So he should block this one, because this is only going to put stuff in his deck. Yep. So now there's 11 spiders in there, and an 8-8 eight eight on the field here. And now we got our other friends. These guys kind of go together. Nice. Okay, these are great plays. We can still come back from this. But there's going to be a bunch of spiders, probably enough to put... Because I did, I think, 11 damage, yeah. So there's probably going to be... If there's six, he's pretty much toast. He's laying down a good amount of blockers, though. Nice. Two. We have charges for days thanks to this guy. He has speed, so we're gonna put him down. We're gonna play him because he's gonna create a troop that we might want to play now. Okay, we can't. Alright. Attack with everything. So he's taking four. Yeah, we only needed three of these. I forgot about the bellow. Let's see, we want this. Yeah. No point in playing that, because even if we draw a card, we can't play it. So he has to remove these, and he has to have four blockers to survive this turn, unless he plays his life drain and gets a crazy amount of life. Okay. These are great cards. Yep. Alright, so... I think the Brood Count was really, you know, a contender for MVP. Also Bellow of the Arena, because it kept buffing everything. Um... So, what did you guys think of the match? Uh, let me know your thoughts. I'll respond to all comments, and please subscribe to the channel and, and like the video, and uh, please play Hacks. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I think uh, you would like this format. Don't be scared. Um, I lose all the time <laughs> uh, because there's a lot of RNG, so you're going to lose. You're going to win. Don't worry about it. Just jump in and give it a try. All right. Until next time, happy Hexing.